Hi, it's Colleen Schmidt from Divination Counseling Service here to present the sign of Taurus for July 2020. So if you are a Taurus sun, a Taurus ascendant, or a Taurus moon, there could be a message here for you today. Before we begin, I would really like to thank you for watching this video. And I want to thank all of my subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, please become a subscriber. If you would, like, share, comment, I'd love to hear from you. So with that said, let's jump in and look at this card reading. We're going to be doing, as always, a Celtic block. We'll start with the Celtic cross. We move into the block because I'll take three clarifiers on the reading. When I'm finished, I will come back and look at the asteroids traveling through Taurus during the month of July 2021. In order to pin those asteroids down, I'm going to be using the new moon of July 9th, 2021. So with that said, let's jump in and check out this card reading. So we are all set up. I'm going to allow the cards, as always, to choose the significator. So I'm just going to do my usual ritual a different space to work in today so it's going to be a little bit different so let's see what the cards have chosen for us today wow beautiful card to start with so your significator for today Taurus is that you will get the assistance and cooperation that you need you'll get what you need in the month of July 2021 the assistance, the cooperation, it's all there. What crosses you, however, is a little bit of a loss. Could even be a heartbreaking kind of a loss. That could be something you're coming from. It could be something you'll encounter. But it's like you're getting what you need, but there is a loss involved. The foundation of the card reading is... The Eight of Cups, okay? It is in reverse. Now, when it's right side up, it does talk about... Now, some people read this as a literal, somebody's walking away from something. I look at this card as you're not on a power trip, that you're trying to do the right things for the right reasons, and all because of all the cups that are left standing. However, when it is in reverse, my Taurus friends, what it means is accept help from other people. That's what it means to me in all the decades I've been reading. So this is accepting help from others, which is very interesting in light of what your first card was, which is assistance and cooperation from others. So accept help from other people. What's passing you is that you've had to let go of things that are the lesser of you. That's what it is. You, know, you just had to do some letting go, prioritizing. When the card is upright, there are things that you're dealing with that are ultimately the lesser of evils. You just have to accept that it is what it is. But when it's upside down, it's like a, the priority card. You know, It's like somebody going through and prioritizing what's going on in their life. And that's what you've been doing on some level, Charles. What crowns the situation is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now, right side up, this would be a woman, supportive. It does refer to uh, being stable financially, financial security. When it's upside down, there is an element here of distrust because that's what it represents upside down. It represents a distrust. And it may be a distrust of material or resources so that this is uh, something that uh, could be plaguing you over the next month is a distrust of something. And that, again, could have to deal with the loss. It's like you're getting what you need, but I don't think you're always trustful. The card that takes you into the future is very, very appropriate. This card, right side up, that's how it was drawn, is showing us that you have the patience 
and the strength to get through it. And I do believe that naturally, Taurus, you are, you can be not only a determined person, but I think that you can take as long as it takes. And that's what we see coming up. So you're really going to be patient knowing that you get more with honey than with vinegar. The, what you bring to the situation is, it's interesting, justice in reverse. So you get a sense that where you're coming from, and again, we're going back to the three, we're going back to the queen uh, with the distrust, maybe because of things that have already happened, and maybe some of those decisions were not made by you. You had nothing to do with it, but you were not happy with that decision or those decisions. And that is what you're kind of bringing to the reading is that sense that I don't trust because they didn't, they didn't make good decisions in the first time, in the first place. That's pretty interesting. That goes together. The card of the external is that because things were not done in the right way. Things were not done correctly, which is the opposite of the master card when things are done correctly. Things have not been done correctly. Decisions have not been made that favored you. Okay. Though, again, I think a lot of it is residual from a past, and there it is. Your hopes, your wishes. Yeah, there'll be fruits from your labor. But you will have uh, something that, that you, you worked, so you do have seeds that were sown that will bring you fruits, so to speak, resources. So good for you. So it's really a wish card. It's a wish card. The King of Sword in reverse is also saying that as all of this is going on, because this is what the swords bring, there is an element of stress. Okay. And it may be because you have of the professionals that have to be dealt with and maybe they're not really trustworthy. But it just, it just feels like to me, you'll get what you need, but not without a lot of hard work, a lot of stress, and a lot of working around people that haven't really been all that cooperative in making this easier. Look at all those. They're all upside down, and they're all basically saying something similar. So let's see how this will play out. So let's get our clarifiers. Let's see how it all plays out. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to save that one for last. First of all, you're going to be making a new connection probably this month that is going to be the beginning of something really good. So you are going to be getting that assistance and cooperation. This is the connection that you're going to be making. And that is your new beginning. Wonderful. The second card up is the Queen of Truth. And this could be just somebody who stands by you that's very close to you. Could be a female, could be mom, could be a significant other. Uh, but I do believe there's a lot of uh, caring. People are giving you good advice. It's coming from people who care deeply about you. And that's what this represents. It's also the only uh, card there with the, the cup is enclosed. So it could also be something coming out that you did not previously know. And the reason why I say that is because the final card, and I purposely made the final card, because a major arcana is the way to end these. This is telling me that there is a lot going on that you do not know about. But it will work out in your favor. And it does look like some of it becomes available to you in the month of July through that Queen of Cups. But this card is a card of, I want to say divine help. I, when I read for people on a personal level, I, I know that this card is telling them some things are happening behind the scenes and that ultimately they may find out and what is going on behind the scenes could be very, very good for them. Okay, but this card is also a card of spirit, and it is an indication that you are being looked after. 
through spirit, that there is your guides, entities on the other side, no matter how, what you believe or what you're looking at, you're being guided right now, my Taurus friend. And that's what this card is telling us. So I, I think whatever it is that you don't know, you will know by the end of the month. So, and it's good. It's very, very good. So that's a really wonderful way to end this particular reading. So good for you, Taurus, because it sorted itself out. Now let's come back and let's look at what's going in on in the skies. So just like always, I've left the cards on the table so that we can refer back to them if we need to. The um, interesting thing is the way this one starts off. It's almost like it's talking about the card reading immediately. I love when it does. So one of the things that I get here is that one of the th things that makes this very difficult and hard for you, Taurus, is that there is so much going on. The other thing is watch your health because I do believe health concerns either going into the month, during the month, some point during this month, there could be some health issues. They could even be related to the stomach itself. So do please watch what you're eating. Also watch that you are washing your hands because it looks like there could be something you could be picking up. It also refers to the fact that um, children could play a feature role in what's going on this month. And with that said, there is a sense that you want to keep a good boundary on those that you love, and that includes your children. And, and what I mean by that is, is that we all love our children unconditionally, but there are certain behavior limitations that sometimes we have to put our foot down. Especially if you're in a position where you see that that person is doing something that is not good for them or not good for you. So here we have the attitude also that when it comes to these setting these boundaries and uh, dealing with too much because that's what I see too much there's just so much it says that fake it till you make it but it's also about giving and getting advice and make sure that if you're the one getting the advice that you're really listening because listening to advice could be an issue and that goes for your children so that would that would answer the question there the other thing that um, you get from this is that there's a lot of chaos. Uh, energy is very, very scattered right now because there is so much going on. And it's one of the things they recommend is get up earlier in the day because some of these things that are going on could blow back in your face, meaning it could put you in a vulnerable position or even a humiliating. It talks about how credibility is really important, but one of the things that we might use this for is not only is it your credibility or the credibility of people around you, but there's this whole thing about looking at the face of authority figures. Like, what's, what is it in their face that's telling you whether they're credible in what they're saying or whether their advice is credible? Look at their face. I also, going back to children, can tell you that parent-child relationships are really interesting for you right now, Taurus. And it might be that some things feel like they're backwards. And this would happen in the case of where adult children are now in the positions of taking care of their parents. So that may show up. If it's not you directly, it might be something that you're experiencing in your life through somebody else. It also refers to the fact that when people don't feel well, they may prefer to be alone, whether it's you or someone else. And one of the things that they tell us that could really help is you're doing a lot of pondering, a little wandering about things, and that's really good. So there's a lot of thought going into what's going on around you right now. But it also tells us that for you to do things in pieces would probably be the best way to go. 
The other thing it reminds me of, and this is just a subtle thing, is it is hot, it is the summer, and finger foods are where it's at. So there is something in here that does talk about finger foods, and that reminds me of cold foods. And so it is summer, and I just had to throw that out there because it's so appropriate. And one of the beautiful things about studying asteroids is that on a mundane level, they will make you smile every time because they are the little details in life. And they do work out. So with that said, once again, thank you for watching this video. And if you would, please subscribe, like, share, comment. We'd love to hear from you. But as always, be well, take care, and until we meet again, I wish you only happy reading.